everyone, it's me, Krista. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. If not, welcome for the very first time to my little art corner here on YouTube. Today we are going to be playing around with the items that came in the Sketchbox Premium Box for July 2020. I decided I wanted to draw a llama. Unfortunately, I started painting one and the camera decided it didn't want to work, so I started over. For the sketch, I used the Sienna... Credit color artist pencil from that little set we got. Using that pencil to get some basic shapes in, get an idea of where I'm going, and I do pull in a kneaded eraser to erase the unnecessary lines that I have going on. After I get my basic outline in, I go over it using the smallest Fabric Castell Pit Artist Pen in sepia that I have. I believe that was a 0.3. I'm using this marker because I know if I use the ink over it that as long as this marker is dry, water is not going to smudge it. And this way I have a darker outline and I can get rid of the original pencil sketch. After I have that marker outline in, I start going in with the Tom Norton Walnut ink. I'm mixing it with different amounts of water and I am using the silver brush, silver or white round number four to put it down. I also have a plastic palette that has little partitions off to the side, and I am using that with the ink, putting a little bit of the ink in there and then pulling in the water and mixing it together and then applying it to the brush. This ink worked really well. I was able to get a variety of shades with it and it layered awesomely. Also, that fluid 4x6 cold pressed watercolor paper is working really well. As you can see, I do not have it taped down. I didn't for either version of the drawing that I am working on. It didn't wrinkle, it didn't really warp, and it held up to the layers really well. I look forward to using this paper with some other projects later. After getting some washes of ink down, I did pull in the Copic Chow marker in Caribe Cocoa just to help add a little bit of variation into what I have already. Then I started using the Credit Color pencil in white and then the chalk black one. Pulling in the white pencil to help with shading, I think it made certain areas feel a little muddier, not quite as clear as maybe using a white marker or some white ink would have done. And the black pencil, I was having some issues with it not breaking every time. I used a regular pencil sharpener with it though. It would probably be better to use an X-Acto knife or a box cutter to cut away the excess wood and expose the lead. I also cheated a little bit and used the Copic Chow marker over the black pencil to help blend it out a little bit. I tried blending it with my fingers. It didn't seem to want to blend very well that way. At this point, I'm just jumping around between the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens and the Credit Color Artist Pencils to help create a little bit of texture and adjust the shading that I already have going on. Just going to keep alternating back and forth between those. I knew I was really going to like the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens because I have some in black and I think I have some in a gray too. I think adding the sepia here that we got in this set will be great for some other projects later. I think it'll be nice for some nature drawings of animals and woods and landscapes and all that fun stuff. I also think it would be great for portrait art. I do pull in the Tombow Mono drawing pin fairly sparingly. I wanted to use the sepia liners a lot more for this one, and I wanted to pull in the deepest black with that marker in just very specific areas, like the eyes and the darkest parts of the nose and the mouth area. I decided that I didn't want to leave the background completely white, and I wanted to play around with the black credit color pencil a little bit more. So I laid down a little bit of that and tried blending it out with my finger, but keeping it very sketchy. I also used that pencil to get some deeper outlines on the animal we have going on here, and then I went over with some more of the sepia Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens. I decided to lighten up the background a little bit by pulling in a kneaded eraser. And again, I just alternate between the different art supplies and work a little bit more on our llama. Like with any project, I've got a lot of different layers going on. I'm just slowly building up different areas of shading and adjusting as I go. 
I do decide that I wanted to bring a little bit more to the background, so I end up layering it with the Copic Chow marker that we got. I'm just using the chisel tip edge and trying to get a very streaky marker look on top of the black pencil that we already have going on. Then I decide to outline our little aminal with some more of the sepia Faber-Castell pit markers. Overall, this month's box came with some interesting items that I would not have necessarily thought of using together. I still think it was a lot of brown going on, and I think pulling in some other items with it will be nicer in the long run. I really enjoyed pretty much everything we got in this month's box. The only item that I really didn't care for was the Credicolor Artist Pencil, the black one. Just the black one. For the white and the sepia worked fine, I just had a lot of issues with the black one breaking, and it just did not blend very well for me. Overall, even though I had some technical difficulties with this project, I had a lot of fun making it. I love how derpy the eyes are. They're very much on the side of the head since it is an herbivore. And I like how one's kind of slightly closed and one's a little bug-eyed open. I think it looks cute and kind of silly. And cute and silly together can be a very good combination. But this project, and therefore this video, is pretty much done. If you liked it, please hit that like button. If you have any comments, questions, or feelings, or you want to let me know what you made with the items in this month's box, please let me know all of that in the comment section down below. If you want to see more videos like this, please feel free to subscribe. I make Sketchbox unboxings and project videos once a month. As always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day or night to watch this video and listen to me ramble. I greatly appreciate it. I look forward to hearing from you guys soon, and you will definitely be hearing from me soon. Bye, everybody!